The blood that washed my sins away. This is a story long ago of a man who owned a little store. And he said, I was proud to have my name up over the door. It was some 2,000 years ago, as I recall, located in Jerusalem across the street from Pilate's Hall. I thought I had anything anyone would need, and folks would come from miles around regardless of their creed. The only thing I had I didn't think I could ever sell was in a corner on a shelf, three old rusty spike nails. And then one day a big Roman soldier came through the door. As he walked up to me, it seemed he shook the floor. I said, can I help you, sir, with a voice I guess seemed frail? He looked at me with a sneering grin and said, I want to buy some big, big nails. Three old rusty spikes is all I have. He said to me, that would do. For the job I have, three is enough. Now how much do I owe you? He put the money in my hand and I was glad to make the sale. Then I wondered and asked him, sir, what can you do with just three nails? He said, did you ever hear of a man called Jesus the Nazarene? You mean the one who goes about doing good? He said, yes, that's the man. Well, today I intend to show the world that I'm boss. For with these three spikes, I'm going to nail Jesus to the cross. I stood there almost numb, and you never knew how I felt. I said, please, sir, don't do that. As down on my knees, I knelt. He just turned and walked away, and I got up and followed him. I said, please, sir, I'll buy them back. But he just looked at me and grinned. But in the distance, I could see the howling mob through the tears that filled my eyes. Away with him, crucify him. I could hear their angry cries. But over top of all the noise of groans and agony, I could hear the sound of a hammer as the big Roman soldier nailed Jesus to the tree. The blood that washed my sins away. Oh, 
I was strolling along near an old country church when a voice I heard seemed to say, I lifted my eyes and Jesus appeared. His ring looked as bright as the day. Oh, Kentucky, 
a school bus rector in the county of Florida. It left many parents a weeping and mourning, cause it took away the lives of their little girls and boys. Summer's gone, the fields has turned brown. Winter will soon bring the snow. 
The doctors have told me time's running out. Praise God, I'm ready to go. The light in my heart burns brighter each day. Though my body is feeble and cold, time. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to leave my friends and my loved ones behind. But when I pray to the Lord, I feel ready to go. It is in my weary mind. The Tell me of a home where no storm clouds 
far away And they tell me that no tears ever come again In that lovely land of an uncloudy day You see, friends, as I was just a little boy, the night my mom and daddy was called to meet Jesus. But I couldn't understand why they wouldn't speak to me when friends would hold me up to the casket to look at them. I guess that all the friends that gathered my house for the funeral felt sorry for me. But I want my daddy to come out and play ball with me or just kindly watch a smile we won't put throw over. I want my mommy to hold her arms around me and tell me much she loved me to put me to bed. And kneel down on my bedside and pray like she always taught me to do. But the saddest time came when the Lord, my daddy, and mommy, into the grave and put dirt and flowers over them. I heard a preacher say, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Oh, hell, I wish that the Lord would take me too. Then the Lord said, Son, someone will love you in heaven. Someone will love me. I went down to an altar one night My friends, they prayed with all their might It was there I lived like a sin I was saved and I was born again Oh, you must, you must be born again You must, you must be born again If you reach ever my Nicodemus, he was a wise man. In his heart, he couldn't understand how that he could be saved from all sin. Jesus told him, you must be born again. Oh, you must, you must be born again. You must, you must be born again. If you reach ever, my friend, the Bible says, be born again. There's 
that you must sacrifice. Worthy pleasures will surely ruin your life. Up in heaven, there's gonna be no sin. That's the reason you must be born again. Oh, you must, you must be born again. You must, you must be born again. If you reach ever my friend, the Bible says you must be born again. But straight and narrow to the pearly gate When you meet that Savior at the crossroads Sinner will you kneel and pray Crucified, so even me. But now he's at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and. Go down to the reef. 
Joshua Joshua did obey. Thank God. 